Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Minty, and this is episode 2 of the Battleship Brawl Season 6 Tournament. This episode, we've got, first up, the three, uh, three, bo three, uh, Bogateria, Bogateria, however you pronounce that, right there, by Seminostro. First one up is the Alicia Popovich. Which has a whole bunch of cram cannons on it. If I remember right, these cram cannons hit really hard, but, like, don't reload, basically. <laughs> reload time of 94 seconds. But 140,000 kinetic damage and 277,000 fragment damage with 66 fragments. And there's four of them. But they take forever to reload. Yeah, and only only 3,700 HP because it has, like, no kinetic in it. That 140,000 kinetic damage is just from pure pellets. Just sheer bulk. It doesn't actually have any hardeners. It's, it's only got 20 frags in each of these. And then we've got this one up here, which is a more reasonable gun. Still, 102,000 fragment damage with 47 fragments. This is a destroyer with ruffle frag crams. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this definitely counts as a doom cram. Definitely counts as a doom cram. 82 cram firepower, 45.7% armor cost. And since we've got three to go through, we're going to go ahead and move on to the Dorinya Nikitich. Which I'm sure I'm pronouncing these awfully, but you know. <laughs> So, this vehicle has a swarm of small missiles hidden beneath this, this uh, wood panel that lifts up. Thumper head frag remote guided missiles. Yeah, paper cuts mark two. Kind of. I don't think it I don't think it fires a constant barrage. I think it fires in volleys. And it's also got these interceptors on the back. Are those torpedo interceptors or no, those are missile those are missile interceptors. Yeah. Menti and European names are two things that don't mix well. Correct. So, we got 103 in missiles, 6.62 in cram. Oh, let's look at this cram real quick. Kind of, that's a really, that's a really baby cram compared to the crams on the other boat. Yeah, there's lots of people who enjoy making me suffer with the names of their ships. I, I appreciate this a lot. Totally. And then we've got the Ilya Muromek. Not particularly, I would say, Arxy. Not sure why he went that route. Probably would have been better with a shape charge head, honestly, but that's just my opinion. So we've got an APS in the back here, 402 millimeter, firing at 11.5 RPM. Though it can actually fire more than that. Firing an AP... AP heat. That is an AP heat shell right there. And then, has some lasers. Which if we get in here, we can see the actual... I dislike that, unlike other weapon systems, you can't just look at the barrel to see the numbers on lasers. Whoops. You have to f get back here to the laser combiner. So, sustained damage per second, 6700 at 42 AP. Not, not the most powerful laser. But there is f two of them. Not a knee. Yeah, it's a 1Q. Yeah, 
And then another 402 AP heat gun. With 43, 26, and 28. 30% armor cost. All three of these boats are fairly on the fragile side. They're not super fragile, but they're not uh, they're not heavily armored. I have no idea what that says. Oh, you don't see the missiles? Right, we didn't. Yep, looks like they've got uh, thump frag torpedoes in the back, mediums. It may be the name of the ship, just but just in Russian. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird torpedo. But we'll see how it goes. So yeah, that are those are the three Bogatiria. Bogatiria. Bog Bogatura. However you pronounce it. By Seminostro. Their opponent is another multi-ship entry, but they only have two. The Long Way There by Out of Context Ethan. This one looks more like a, a pier or a dock than a boat, but... It's armed with some small missiles. Some thumphead frag. Much that's a lot like the missiles on the uh, on their opponent. It's 146 of them. <laughs> Reject boat, embrace fork, right? And I think that's the only weapon this thing has. Yeah, all it has are those missiles. 75 missile firepower. What's really weird is that this is the front of the ship. It, it feels to me like the ship is backwards. I don't know why, it just does. But anyway, that's the long way out there, or the long way there. And then we have the Steaming Stronghold. Oh, I'm glad I'm not alone in that, Sean Reed. Which is another diamond hulled ship, sort of like my entry. But it's rocking some uh, cram mortars. It's got these eight smaller ones. And then it's, these, this is not a, this is not a cram mortar. And this is not a cram mortar, but there is a cram mortar inside this one. <laughs> so yeah, 24,000 fragment damage, basically 25,000, 34 fragments. The kinetic is whatever because they're mortars, so they don't have any fuses. Okay, but why though? I don't know. And then these are all uh, same thing, but smaller. I think this one got disqualified for. Oh, it's also got a missile back here. Just an HE. Oh, it's a heat missile. Okay. I think this one got uh, rejected once because they they had fuses on the crams. I don't remember. There were a couple that did. I could I could be misremembering. But yeah. That one missile, 6.48 and 66.71 of crams, 76% armor cost. This is a, this is a chunky boy. <laughs> All right. So now that we've gotten through the overviews, we can get onto the battle. All right.
right, let me go ahead and get the prediction started. Oh, wrong. There we go. So, who will be victorious? The three or long way? You have one minute to place your bets. One minute after seeing that overview to uh, decide who you think is going to win and, be and bet some materials on it. But in the meantime, we'll go ahead and get this battle started. Those mortars are away. All those cram shells from the uh, Alicia Popovich didn't really do so well. Oh man, with so many small missiles in the air, my computer's kind of struggling because both of these entries are using a lot of small missiles. Oh, they decided to change targets and a whole bunch of fish ended up in the water. Well, they're not fish. If they were torpedoes, they'd be fish. Oh, mortar barrage misses. Steaming stronghold taking a lot of missile hits. Oh man, all those missiles are really chugging my game. Do we have some a ram going on or something somewhere? Oh, the long way there and the steaming stronghold are close together. That's what the issue is right now. Come on, you two. Break up. Break it up. Don't you two start this crap now. Man, the, the bow of the uh, the vehicle here. Whichever one this is, I forget. Dobrynya. Oh, come on. Don't, pu don't pull up side by side. That's how you crash the game. Please don't do that. <laughs> I mean... It it didn't. It. Oh, now here's the. Here comes the lag. I mean, yeah, you're not really supposed to ram, but it's not like ramming is an instant DQ if it doesn't cause my game too much issues. And it's going okay so far. That's where the little boats come from. <laughs> right? So, after a minute of battle, minute game time of battle, we've got 98% on uh, the three and 96.6, 96.5 on the long way. So it's a pretty close match right now. I wanna see these crams hit. Looks like one of the crams got blown out. The long way is uh, a bit low in the water there. It's getting awful close.
Yeah, as soon as those missiles start launching, I can feel it. Yeah, the Ilya is getting a DQ. DQ time. Too far out. Well, there was a limit on the number of missiles this tournament. Like, when I spawn either of these and if they fight each other, or they fight, you know, with the lag rule, they weren't lagging that badly. Oh, was that... Th I think those might have been the crams right there. That was a lot of fragments. It's running a bit better now. Now that the ships are kind of spread out a bit. That cram mortar was nowhere near on target. Just a huge stream of missiles. But they're also going for the thing that's basically an armor brick. Hello, Starshina Smirnov. Or I guess I should just could just call you Smirnovs. But whatever. Yeah, there was, there's another entry that got uh, disqualified, rejected in inspection because it had so many small missiles that when I had two of them together, it just, it lagged the crap out of my game. <laughs> They ended up having to change all the smalls to mediums instead, and it still had like 70-something missiles or something. If I remember right. I know, right? <laughs> it's a carnival. <laughs> I mean, it is, but it isn't, Mitch. Because it is a swarm of small missiles, but it isn't a constant barrage. Very close match, HP-wise. I need a drink. <laughs> you 
Yeah, these things, these are probably the guns you want to have firing on the steaming stronghold. Oh, were they fired? Dang it, I missed it again. Of course, Mitch. Isn't that always the way? Oh, there's one. Let's check out the confetti. That's actually kind of unimpressive. Ilya Muramek has to be careful though. It's it's halfway to getting DQ'd right now. And we're barely halfway over with the match. If she gets herself DQ'd, that's going to cost her team the match. That is true, Prometheus. Be gone, bot. He seems he should be getting ready to fire again here soon. Oh no, not the thump bug! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's an oof. Yeah, the uh, the three are still in the lead despite that. The thump bug is when the world does a recentering thing. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but basically the world changes where the position, the centered position of the world is. And doing that also seems to add a shitload of velocity to missiles whose thump damage is based on their velocity. So when that happens, 
they just do a met metric ass ton of thump damage if they hit in the same frame as that bug or as the as the shift what is the camera it looks like gift wrap it does it does look like gift wrap all the steaming strongholds gaining dq time where is it Oh, it's sinking. The sinking strong the steaming stronghold is the sinking stronghold now. Relativistic kill projectiles. Yeah, basically. me or was that a really weak frag there or a really weak cram oh yeah there are torpedoes in this match I completely forgot about that because you can't see them <laughs> No. Oh! Ilya Muromek Muromek got DQ'd. Are you still active? The gun's aiming. We're going to have to go into negative time here for a little bit to make sure things are still active because the long way there is still fighting oh yeah it's out of mat they're out of mats Everybody except the long way there is out of mats. So yeah, though that's a zero for the three. Oh yeah, Alicia Popovich has match, but is she firing? Let me record the scores. And then we've got about another 30 seconds on the minute rule. Yeah, Alicia Popovich does have mats. I was reading the points. Um, so yeah, let me record the scores that are currently here. 59.1, 34.8, and then let's see if the one minute rule comes into play. We've got another 32 seconds since I last checked. And these guns are basically the only hope. There it is. Therefore, the score stands as it was. No, this is the Alicia Popovich. Yep, so 59.1 to 34.8 as both are still participating in the battle at the time at the time that the battle ended. Yes. You either... It's an all or nothing thing. If anything is participating, then the team gets its points. If nothing is participating, then you lose everything. Alright, here we go. Round two. Nope, it's per team. The 
Popo is never out of mats. <laughs> um, what? I think my game just crashed. Yep, there goes the game. Hooray! <laughs> At difficulty mode. <laughs> it should not complain about the time again, right? <laughs> well, we'll see what happens for um. Hopefully, hopefully not. But have a good one, man. Tyrannus has redeemed Feed the Fuzzy Ones. And, of course, I swear, he checks every day to see if I remember to turn on my Do Not Disturb on Steam. Just so he can bloop me. Let's get the battle started, and then I'll I'll give the pets their treats. Yeah, I'll give the bag a shake to attract them. Alley cat, or er, alley dog, panther cat, alley. You guys want a treat? Guess not. <laughs> I'll get it to him later. All right, I was supposed to get the battle started, then do that. Oh, there's the alley dog. Here you go, girl. You got yourself a treat. Um, nom, nom, nom. Yeah, it would be kind of nice if these guys didn't do this. They're pre-fight huddle, but they're already in the fight. There's no pre-fight about this. You know, let me... Let me double check something. I hope I didn't just in I hope I didn't invalidate the entire first round by spawning long way there. Oh. Nope, it's good. Yeah, that would be nice. Because I'm telling you right now, if they do end up running into each other and slowing the game down a, a really badly or crashing it, they're just going to get a zero for that round. <laughs> Not all of us understand math. That is an unfortunately true statement. But in testing, like in the tests, they never collided, so I, I wouldn't expect them to, to see it here. But yeah, if the if the game crashes because of ramming, 
Um, if no direct fault can be, like, if it's clearly, if it's not clearly totally one side's fault, it's basically going to be based on my judgment of whether you get a zero for that round or the score stands as it was when the game crashed or, you know, there are a couple different options I can take. <laughs> oh, that's that's the front cram, the baby cram. Kind of game time, game speed are we getting? Oof, like half. That's rough. That is the plan, gaming. Eventually. Such miss in the missile, I know, right? Oh, cram shot! <laughs> oh, the steaming stronghold felt that one. Look at that hole. Hey, Nova Galaxy. Steaming stronghold did not like that hit, that's for sure. <laughs> Tab out for two seconds to get scared, jump scared by an Xbox ad. Got some mortars coming down. And missing. Wow, they just, like, straddled either side of the ship. Where are the missiles going? What are they doing? Is there ECM on... I wonder if there's ECM on the Alicia Popovich. Oh, the steaming stronghold is... looking a bit low in the water. Already. It shouldn't affect their guidance gaming, but oh, it could be loss of processors, yeah. The long way there could have lost, uh, 
lost gross general purpose processing power. It's kind of just sailing off. Or no, it's not. It's coming. It's sailing in because it's it doesn't face the way I think it does. I thought it was sailing away. This time the three, the the th the three have a commanding lead. Those torpedoes. Where are those even coming from? Are those friendly torpedoes? Are those coming from? No, it, no. But there's nothing over there except the long way there. Maybe the IM, yeah, was over in that direction when it launched the torpedoes and essentially moved. <laughs> well, that APS shell got close to the camera. The steaming stronghold is not doing well for buoyancy. Oh, we've got big crams coming. I think they missed. Or did they? I don't know. I don't see them. Unless they sank that fast. Maybe they exploded underwater, yeah. But we didn't, I didn't see any fragments either, but... Oh, degraded mode means no tracers, right. You still see fragments though, right? Maybe not, not seeing any fragments coming off of these. So I guess that was probably it. Oh yeah, Steaming Stronghold is getting DQ time. Did it... I think it's sunk. Where is it? Am I just blind? I don't see any... Oh, it's right there, duh. And it's gone. That'll probably help with the game speed some. Not really. <laughs> Yeah, where's the other boat? There's...
push uh, F4. Yeah, what the heck is going on here? So here's the Alicia Popovich. This is the the I am. Where's the DN? The Dobrina Nikitich is just gone. But it's not gaining DQ time. I swear, could this game just function right? Well, we're on the edge of the map for this map, so. Oh, here it is. So how is that not getting DQ'd? Hold on, let's pause this shit. I have no idea which direction that is. Oh, I can use this missile trail as a reference. It is... that direction. No, that's the three of them. No, we're right over the avatar. Damn it. So there's a red mark to the north. What is going on? This game is non-functional. I don't know what to do here. I don't have time for this thing for this game to be friggin screwing up like this. Altitude 2 of 0. For fuck's sake. God forbid the game just actually work. I don't see it. Like, I should see it by now. Now we have to spend 20 minutes to get back to where we were before because of how slow the game runs. Yeah, exactly, cheese cannon.
it was broken beyond belief. an hour in and we've done one round of the first match. I guess we're not doing episode three today because I don't have time. Is that the right one? Yeah. But then these two are like hugging each other and it's causing no lag. Now the game is running like really fast. What the heck? No, it's seemed like it was, but no, we're getting game speed of 0 0.4. 0 0.6, I don't know. I am very frustrated right now. The game needs to be recoded from the ground up because Jesus, this game is just so friggin' broken sometimes. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, basically, Stan. There's just so much wrong with it. Well, that ram could have been worse. toast mostly because of a lack of other options there aren't many there aren't many games like this one all right I'll hydrate Space Engineers is the closest game to From the Depths that I know of. And it's still not quite the same thing. And also Clang, yes. Time to make an open source fan version, right? cat. Well, I owe the cat two treats now, but he's not coming to me.
Yeah, I guess the thump bug is kind of a clang moment. It really is. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. At least time seems to actually be passing this round. Oh yeah, the Steaming Stronghold is getting DQ time. Good catch, I didn't see it. Oh yeah, because it's way out there. It's doing way out there, bud. It's not where you're supposed to be. But bye Must have lost rudders. Yeah, I know, B-Man. It's rough. It's 10 minutes of game time is the round. Is a round. Couldn't find it, Naviaris. Couldn't figure out what was going on, so I had to restart it. Let's see, is the long way there still participating? Probably my phone just rang from Oregon. No idea who that could possibly be. Okay, long way there is still participating. I 
didn't leave a voice. They didn't actually leave a voicemail, so whatever. Well, I'm going to kind of pull out onto a view centered on the long way there because I really need to use the bathroom. <laughs> I will be back. Okay, I am back. Alright, about that one, you gotta go, you gotta go, right? Let's see, are you still participating? Watch and see if it fires any missiles. Uh, a missile. Two missiles. That didn't actually navigate. So those those are basically disabled. I'm I'm not calling those counting as participating because they didn't actually target. That's basically the same as a cram shell firing, but nothing coming out.
Yep, that's that is it for the long way there. They have been disabled and no longer participating. I save we saved the whole like thirty seconds there. So 91 to 0. Oh, wow. That's a devastating victory. Oh, does it have torps? I don't think this has torps. I think it's all just small missiles. Pretty sure all it has are small missiles. And they're all damaged. Now. It has torpedo interceptors, but those don't count. Oh, but the threes don't have them. <laughs> I think the uh... hatch on the front. Oh, on the front. Oh, it does have torpedoes. It looks like, but that one is destroyed. As is that one. Yeah, both of the torpedoes in the front are down. Well. What's going to happen as soon as I unpause it? Is this a... No, not that. The lasers are probably going to fire. Unless they've used all the battery already. There it is. It was just a, there was a friendly in the way. So, yep. 91 to 0 is the score for this one. They just weren't firing because there was a friendly in the way. That rule is meant to be there so that we don't sit around waiting for 10 minutes for watching the enemy shoot at an armor brick that isn't fighting back. It doesn't work so well with multi-ship entries, I'll give you that though. It's kind of painful. Do it. Don't do it. Actually, do it. Go ahead. Crash the game. I'll be happy to give you a zero and move on at this point. Right, Cornholio? <laughs> right now, game speed is running at point two. Because these two are in close proximity. Are 
Are we gonna have a three? The game's gonna crash. Yep, here comes the crash. It's not even my computer that's limited because I can get off of this and do other things on my computer. Like I could turn on a YouTube video right now and watch it and it's fine. It's the game that's slowed down. My computer still has processing power to spare. Oh, there we go. Except it wasn't... I can't just give Long Way There a zero for that because they weren't colliding anymore. It was Steaming Stronghold and one of the three that was colliding. Yeah, you know what, I think what I'm gonna do is just give them both a zero for the fucking, for the glitch match, because on the one hand, it, because I just, I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing this. This is not fun for anybody. I'm calling the match there. So the three Bogateria get a 50, and the long way there get 11.6. So technically within the realms of the vote being able to save it, but unlikely. Uh, no, I'm gonna go ahead and do the do. I'm gonna do episode three. Don't don't go anywhere. Yeah, it should that should be a much faster match. Oh yeah, so <laughs> Yeah, sorry about the length of this episode. Hour and twenty minutes. But, you know, not a whole lot I can do for it. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, despite the issues. And uh, I'll see you on the battlefield.